Hello and welcome back to the Unix command tutorial. We are now checking out the file system, system navigation. navigation. <laughs> 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 okay. So, there's five main commands we're gonna go over in the file system navigation. Very, very simple command. And remember how in the first video, when I asked you, what directory are we in? Yes. Okay, well now I'm gonna show you how to figure that out. For all of you Linux newbies running a console, when you first start the console, it's gonna put you in a specific directory. And to take a look at the directory that we're we type this simple command. PWD. Press enter. That shows us right here that we are in the home and Linux, the Linux home directory. The home folder. All right, what is a home folder? You know what a, don't, don't act like you don't know what a home folder is. In Windows, it's like. Oh, oh no, he's got to do it, he's got to do it. It's kind of it's like a, the My Documents directory. <laughs> it's the folder, uh, <laughs> It's the folder that's correlated with the user who's co who is currently logged in. Right, so right now since we're using a live disk, it gives us a standard login of the name Linux. Right, since that's the user we're logged in as. Right, so this so, is... So, hypothetically, you can only access the Linux folder within the home directory if you're logged in as Linux and not anybody else's, right. unless you're logged in as root. Right, or unless you're given permission right. by the root user. Right. Which we won't even worry about. We're going to talk about file permissions right. later. This is the, for the first simple little command. Now, last time we learned the help commands, why don't we just go ahead and run a man? See what happens. All right. We're going to run a man on PWD. Press enter. This is going to show us, it even says right here, it prints the name of the current working directory. And we also do have a couple of options here. Why don't we scroll down? Maybe we can play with a couple of these options. Good one. <laughs> or maybe not. Do you see? I don't see any options, do you? Well, actually, we have help. So I guess, I mean, PWD is just. Very simple. Yeah, just shows you where those, you're yeah. sitting. All right. Now, the very next one that we're going to take a look at, we, we kind of took a look at this one before, but I want to do it again and play with a couple of the options. All right. That is the list command. So why don't we clear the screen? See, clear. Clear, C L E A R, <laughs> enter. We'll run the list. Of Okay, we already told you guys what this is. So, so these are all the visible folders and files that you can see. They're all visible. You you hit it right on the nail. So why don't we go ahead and see what we can do to change that? By looking at all of them. Man, LS. Okay, so name, list, options. All right, talk to me. What do we got here? What does this say? So we have uh, all, almost all. So the all command is uh, it shows everything that's hidden and visible. Extremely useful. Hidden and visible. Q. So how do we how do we use that? What do I tell you? So ls space dash or hyphen a. A. Then what is this gonna do again? Show all hidden and visible files. Enter. Boom. Look, there's a whole lot that's hidden. Okay, you so wouldn't even know. What do these hidden files represent? Uh, a lot of different things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm putting Emacs, you on the spot. You know, like Emacs, the editor. So all right, let, let me rephrase a question. Why, why like do we have config a, files in here? There's why do we have these hidden stuff. files? I'm using Emacs right now, and I love it. Really? <laughs> Isn't it the great, the greatest like text editor ever in the whole I don't know, history I like of the world? VI. For some reason, I've just I'm used I hate to VI. VI. I don't know why. It's I just, hate it. Pico, like, oh, man, Emacs, all the way. I'm like, eh, I don't know. Not Pico. VI. All the way. I like the whole Control Shift U Control colon things. So these hidden so, files. So yeah, they're different like config files. So I mean, if you want to screw with your shell and you want to screw with, you know, environment variables and stuff like that, you can kind of like screw with some of these files. Hmm. Interesting. You got all kinds of stuff to do in here. Yeah. Isn't the one where you can kind of lay it out? In a, what is it, long listing format, dash L. And it'll show the rights and all that for all the files? Yeah, let's, let's do that real quick. All right. Come back here to the uh, to the command ls dash L. And so what this actually does, this, this is kind of a neat little tool. What is this over here? The access privileges for each file or folder. Yes, and this can get a little bit complex if you don't know how to read that. Will you read that? Can you read that? You can read that. <laughs> dash <laughs> Oh, you're so smart. And then who is this? I believe that's the person that created the file, right? And then oh, here is so. the access to the group. Uh, the group, the group name. Nice. And then what is this? Date created. Date created. And let me ask you a real hard one. Which one is this? The name. Oh, we're so good. <laughs> Clear the screen, gentlemen. <laughs> so I have another one that I want to check out. All right. And this one might remind you of MS DOS. Uh, D I R. What is this? this Didn't is we just see much, this? <laughs> right. It's pretty much just an alias. D I R by default gives you the list command dash L. So it's for people who are just you know force of habit used to DOS. It happens sometimes you're kind of flying around and it just slips out. You're like, yeah, it just slipped out of DOS command. <laughs> and so sometimes that can happen and you're like, oh okay, I can keep moving. Let's run a man on dir. Mander. I am mander. So we do have options, D I R and options. <laughs> okay, so we have all these different options for the dir command. Is there any other oh, commands? Five, any other options that you want to run with this or just kind of let uh, it go? Uh, sometimes I is useful, depending. What is I? This file. It prints the index numbers of each file. Rest. Prints the index number. Yeah. So dir dash i, mm -hmm. looks the same to me. Well, except for on the far left. What does that mean? 
It's, I believe. Ah, oh, look at I this. I believe that the index number is the reference number. It's kind of like the, I believe it's like the audio ID profile and the partition table. So it's kind of its unique address? Pretty much. Cool. Excellent. So, like memory, whatever. All right. So the last one is change directory. Change directory. How do we do that? Type in the change directory command. Go abbreviated as okay. CD. CD. Followed by the directory name. Great. So now I have to know what directory I want to get into. Right. So why don't I backs DIR, take a look at the different options that I have for directories. Right. So I can just Except get in. There's one option it doesn't give you. Which one option is that? Backwards. Ooh, so we'll have to take a look at that. Yes. So right now we're working in the uh, PWD. We're working in the slash home slash Linux directory. Right. So maybe we can pop into the desktop and pop back out to the home directory. Okay. This right here is the desktop. So all I have to do in order to access the files on the desktop is type CD space capital D E S K T O P, right? Since it is case sensitive. It is very case sensitive. So I can press enter now, right? Mm -hmm. So now, if I did PWD, my working directory now is home, Linux, desktop. And then you can list the files in there. Let's take a look at that. On your desktop. Let's do an LS. These are all the files on my desktop. So I have, these are basically just um, shortcuts. shortcuts. Right. How do I get back to the home directory? So we could do a CD space dot forward slash. Dot forward slash. That, go, that will go back. Or, or dot dot. Yeah, I was, I was going <laughs> to say actually CD yeah, space so. dot dot will oh. take you up a directory. Oh, no, dot dot forward slash is the root. Actually, to get to the root, it's CD space forward slash. Takes you right to the file no, system. Dot dot forward slash. I have no Find idea. Out. CD space dot dot forward slash. Yeah, I thought that was the root. That takes you to the home directory. Ah. I never knew that. Do it again. See if it goes back one more. CD space dot dot. Forward slash. Okay, so that is the same as just dot dot. So you can either right. do to go up a directory, you can either do cd <laughs> dot dot or cd dot dot forward slash. Yeah, I've always dot been, dot's probably easier. I don't uh, know why I always put the forward slash. In there. I've always been partial just to dot dot. So now w w wait, what did we do here? So now we backed all the way back to the file the, system. Pretty much. Oh crap! So now we're kind of in a in an area where we, where we shouldn't be. Right? What are the what are these files here? Well, they're just the main system directories based on how the hard drive. So the home folder is basically where we keep our personal files. The rest of these are managed by the operating system. So if we want to jump straight into home and Linux, we can do that all one command by cd space. What? Are, yeah, home forward and Linux. slash home forward slash Linux. Cd space forward slash home forward slash what? Windows. <laughs> Sys32. <laughs> check it out. Check it out. Look. Look. Type L. Then what do you type to, to make it finish? Finish it for you. Tab. Oh, nice, ah, nice. you like that? I've never seen that. Linux will actually attempt to to finish out what it thinks you're going to type mm. based on what's in the directory. That's great. So if I if I actually wanted to get into that, I could shortcut it cd space forward slash h tab. L tab. And then L tab. Wow. And then t I mean, if you have a long file name. And if you're used to it, it's just. Oh, just a long yeah. way. Chicka chicka chicka. Chicka chicka. You're there. Press enter. Back in the home directory. Are there any other options with the, with the change directory yeah, you want to take be, a look at? Should be fun. All right. The yeah. basics of uh, file system navigation have completed. Clear screen. See you in the next.